Hello everyone and welcome to Bankside Cuisine. We're here at Fisherwick Lakes over in Litchfield today. We're going to do some nice little steak burgers. Now we've got these steak burgers from Anton at the Hungry Carper and we're just going to do some little mac and cheese burgers with those. I've got some pink slaw, really, really simple, but really, really quick to do. So first of all, I've got the pan, smoke's coming off, there's no oil in there and I just want to toast the buns. So we're going to get these in. We're just going to press them down just to get this literally start to toast in through. Now this is a great way of warming up your hands on a cold day, so just do as many bread rolls as you need to. There we go. Now what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna swap over the pans. Put that to one side, so we've got rid of the open compartment and we're now onto the smaller multi-section compartment of the combi pan. Now we've got these lovely six ounce steak burgers from the Hungry Carper. Really, really good quality. Now you can see there's a nice little marble in a fat through there as well. So that's really, really gonna keep them, keep them moist. Now, a lot of the problem when you get the dry burger, it's because people are using mince that's really lean. You need about a 20% fat ratio in a burger just to keep that moisture running through it. All right, so we've got the two burgers in the larger section. We're just going to start those cooking off. You can just hear them sizzling away. The steam's coming up. So they're just going to start colouring up beautifully underneath. And we'll just keep turning them as we normally do, uh, just to keep that moisture running backwards and forwards through it so they don't obviously dry out. You see a little bit of fat. I didn't put any fat into that pan. The fat's just going to come naturally out of those burgers as they cook through. Uh, the reason we're using the multi-compartment in a second got a little tin of ready-made macaroni cheese nice and simple but a bit of fun on a burger so we're just going to put that in there heat that through when the burgers are cooked they'll go into there we'll spoon that over and then this is one of my favorite things I buy this all the time now it, it is from Tesco as you can see there but it's a pink slaw so it's not got mayonnaise but it is lightly pickled so you've got red onion you've got white onion you've got carrots red cabbage white cabbage in there but with it that that little pickliness will just cut through the meat and cut through the richness of the mac and cheese. Right, as you can see, we've been flipping those burgers. Now they're really, they're not that far off being done now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the macaroni cheese. Now I've got this, it's got a little ring pull on there. So on the bank should be nice and easy. Just gonna get that into the middle. keep turning those burgers. You can see all of that fat that's come out of those and that's helping just to keep the moisture in there. The mac and cheese. Now, if you've got mac and cheese you make at home, you can make that at home, you don't have to buy a tin, it's just I saw that and thought, you know, burgers, you can do anything, whatever your favorite toppings are. I've been to places where they're using pickled onion monster munch on them and hummus and everything. So this is just one little idea out of thousands that you could walk around in a supermarket and find. Right, the burgers are now cooked, the mac and cheese is heated through, all that's left to do now is plate them and eat them. So let's, let's get started. We'll just turn the gas off on the stove. All right guys, so the burgers are on there, the mac and cheese is on there, the last bit, we're just putting this pickled slaw onto there, and it's just the top of the buns. And look at that, a couple of Bankside Dirty Burgers for you, filled with macaroni cheese, some nice steak burgers, and a nice bit of pickled slaw. Can't wait to tuck into these.